What's good? I'm Tech with Corey, and today let's talk about our MacBook, right? We know our MacBooks are great machines, right? But if you're like me, you've been there before. You've done a video uh, for making some content, and you got 50 gigs of space that's taken up, right? System data's taking forever to get things done. Your fan gets to running. You don't know why. You don't know what's happening, right? So today, I'm going to jump into this all-in-one setup that's going to help make your Mac work better, right? So let's jump into Mac Cleaner. I'm going to now jump onto my computer screen right here so you can see how this helps me and what it's all about. All right, here we go. I'm on Mac Keeper's website and it has it right here, loud and in living color. Keep your Mac clean and safe with zero effort, right? So it has pricing and product right here, right? So if you just click it here with the product overview, this thing can clean your Mac. It has security, antivirus, adware cleaner, performance, memory cleaner for those large files when doing video editing, and it has privacy from a VPN to ad blocking, right? So all of that is there. And if you go on their website, you can download it and you can try it for free, right? But everything here is self-explanatory. They even got a 24-7 I chat to answer any questions, but they also have learn more where you can learn and see things and hear things, right? But from right here, from Forbes to PC, uh, uh, Mag to Macworld, all of that tech radar, they got a ton of reviews. They're trusted when it comes from tech media, right? So they're good. And right here, 4.3 out of 5 when it comes to scores, 8 out of 10 on them right there. Uh, they stand behind everything they got going on. They got a free version and a full version, and you can check all that out that works for you, right? But they can make a difference when using it, and here we go. I'm finna actually open the program up and show you how I actually use it and how it could potentially help you. So let's check it out. All right, here we go. We got it opened up right now within the uh, Mac Keeper. So if you look at it here, it tells you everything that they can actually do for you from security to cleaning to performance and all of that. So when you're ready to scan it, all you got to do is like, click right here. It tells you at the bottom everything is self-explanatory to get the full scan results, allow full disk access, it tells you how to do all of that right there, right? So if you want to allow the fool to do it, but if not, you can just click scan right here, right? And it's going to scan it pretty fast. And as you can see here, it's doing 24% and it's just going to go and it's going to do all this thing. So you just got to let it work and do its thing and you should be all set right there. And it, it pops up wanting you to allow things because I'm just showing you the first time how you would get it if you were to use it. It's going to pull things up and ask you to allow. And you can always have that set for the future under your settings so it won't ever ask you again. But I'm just showing you if you were to download it, what you would get, right? So here you go. It shows you right here what all it has. It shows you if you got security issues, if you have our personal records leaked, which a lot of pieces of people places out there don't have personal uh, records leaked uh, information. So that's pretty cool. So it's showing you what you got here, right? So if you just want to look at the cleaning right here, you can click review and you can fix it, right? So if you look here, it tells you what they've detected and how they can actually fix it. It also tells you uh, app leftover things, right? So zero, zero effort done. All you have to do is basically just say, hey, look, review this. You can fix this and it'll break everything down from showing you the logs to the cache to the languages and all of that. So if you wanted to clean these, you reviewed it and you said, okay, cool. I'm all set on fixing this. All you got to do is click clean. It's going to clean it. If you want to change your mind for whatever, you can click at the bottom to actually stop that. But it's going to remove those files and show you when the cleaning is actually complete, right? So that's the cool part where it's nothing that you really have to do. You just go right there and you do that part, right? So when you go back here, it shows you that that's done. If you want to go to another cleaner with the 166 kilobytes right here, we can review that and see what that actually is. And it's going to pop that up and start cleaning it, right? So it's going to fix that. And for whatever reason, if you want to change your mind, you can just click stop fix right there and you can actually fix that. So you're covered when they have you here with Matt Keeper because, you know, Apple is known for all their stuff that they have going on, but things can be hiding on your Mac and you can do a scan and it finds everything for you. So that's where Matt Keeper is really, truly helpful for you, right? Also, when it comes to the memory cleaner, if your browser is lagging because you got too many tabs open, all you got to do is hit a button to free up the space, right? So you're covered at all times when it comes to Mac Keeper. And depending on how your system works, you know, it's going to work faster, slower, but just know that it's actually working. And for the amount of time that it takes for it to work, it's nothing compared to what they get you to get your system working at its optimal position, right? So here you go with 58% in where it's uh, actually handling everything here. And like I say, it, in some people, it might take a long time, but in my opinion, it's not taking that long. It's basically doing what it needs to do. So I want everything to be fixed and be right. So if you got five, 10 minutes of extra time to actually hit this and let this work for you, you're going to be good. And here, if you had any questions, you can easily ask the question here on that uh, and get an answer from a personal tech expert. So if we wanted to know what is this actually doing for me? Why is this important? Why isn't it important? Or what's happening? You can easily just chat in to them. They'll reply back to you and get you an answer on what's happening there, right? So you're covered with 
tech support with just questions, right? You know, you could be like me. I make a lot of content. I don't know all the performance ins and outs of a MacBook of what does this, what does that, you know, type situation. Uh, so asking them on the chat will really truly help you. Uh, so you can't go wrong by just going right here and actually typing in your message and actually sending it over, right? And as you can see that how Zoom popped up, it's fixed everything for me. Uh, and then you're all set. So you can show right there how it's fixing everything for you. And then if you want to enable the protection, you can review what's left if you want to review that. So just going back, showing you a little bit more. So if you want to go here to performance, you can review the performance. It's going to show you here you got three apps that need to be updated. So you can review the apps that actually need to be updated and it can open up and update those for you, right? So it's going to give you right here showing you that, okay, my OneDrive for Microsoft needs to be updated. Do I want to update that? I can check that to update it. And right here, when I check that, it clearly will tell you what the actual updates are. So again, one-stop shop. You just go right here and see everything that you need to know and what it's going to actually do for you. You can open the URL up through that, right? And so you can just go back and go here and click everything from the security. You can see right here where you got security issues where it says one ad where uh, infection removed. So it'll show you whatever's popped up and whatever was deleted, it shows you all of that information now, right? So that's the cool part about it, that everything is all safe in one spot helping you out. Um, and you really can't go wrong when using it. So if you're like me and want to up your Mac, uh, get it, keeping it working optimal with the optimal performance, you want to check out Mac Keeper because it has you covered. Like right here with the memory cleaner, this is extremely important. It's going to actually... Uh, Show me my available memory and all of that, right? And it helps you out. Now you got to do is you can clean your memory right here. It'll clean it. If you have anything that's actually available, it does everything for you. So check out Mac Keeper because they really truly have you covered when you accumulate junk files, logs, caches, language files, and all those things that you don't need. Mac Keeper will scan your drive and find the files and safely remove them, right? And you can see how I've cleared up some space from just using this. So you don't have to worry about it deleting your personal data, or anything like that. It's actually working for you and doing it. And you see right there, live and in living color, it just gave me some available memory and helped me out on that end. So check out Mac Cleaner. They have a, a download where you can try it for free and everything is all in here from antivirus to adware, and those, and if you don't use all those things, they're there for you. I just showed you a quick memory cleaner and how to run uh, a, a quick uh, service just to see what's on your Mac in regards to cleaning, cleaning files and all of that stuff. So check them out because they got you covered.